All right, fans, a bell, and here we go now with the opening moments of this match. The German Troopers against a tremendous young combination of TNT. We talked about their tremendous power and strength and the fact that they like the power type of wrestling. You saw an example of it right there. His helmet just shoved Tommy Seabolt, and he shoved him very, very hard back into the corner. Seabolt doesn't have the power to do that, and again, you saw the trooper helmet just shove Tommy Seabolt and send him reeling backwards hard into the turnbuckle and into the corner. And Kevin Casey outside of the ring, as does his partner Hans, both agree, and they like that quite a bit. Headlock now. Helmet with that tremendous upper body. He's just huge all over. But when he gets those powerful arms wrapped around your head in that headlock and puts the pressure to you, you've got bad trouble. Down again. Go Seabolt from a tremendous block coming off of the ropes. This man is huge. What a tremendous amount of power he's got packed into that well-built body of his. Not only that, he's a very focused individual. He knows what he's doing in that ring. He's looking at the business at hand as he really goes to work on Tommy Seabolt. He knows that he has the size and the power and the strength advantage, and that's what he's trying to use to his advantage. Whipped into the ropes by Seabolt when he comes off. What a block and what a shoulder as he got into Seabolt. And Seabolt hit the mat and again he hit it hard. He already is hearing bells trying to shape out those cobwebs. Seabolt now and Helmet, the trooper, as they circle out near the center of the ring. Lock up. And again the trooper goes with a headlock. He's had Seabolt in that headlock several times during the open moments and when he does he can really put the pressure to hip toss that's what he's got to have that agility and that quickness high to the head that flying head scissors takedown and fans while the action is wild and furious in the ring don't go away the action will continue we're going to take a commercial break and we'll be right back with more after this Tommy Seabold into the ring Tommy Angel outside and also outside of the ring are the German troopers. I don't know if they're getting any advice from their manager exactly what they're doing down on that floor. But he is irate. Certainly things have not been going the way he figured it was going to be going. Helmet, big, strong, powerful. He's still in. And so is Tommy Sebo. These two have wrestled the biggest portion of the match. Now a tag. We're going to see Hans. He's taller. He's bigger. He's even heavier. How much pounding like this can a young man like Tommy Seabolt take? Seabolt, who relies on his quickness, speed, and agility in the ring, is being pounded by the bigger, larger, heavier, and stronger German troopers. Arm drag, quick arm drag, good takedown. Well, with that high backflip and in that arm takedown and that hip toss, that's the kind of wrestling he's going to have to do. Now it's Seabold with the arm and the pressure. He's got good leverage on it, putting good power and good pressure now to the arm of Helmet, the big German. Another tag. We're going to get a switch now. Here comes Tommy Angel. Oh, and when he goes over Seabold, there's Angel. The boy, he looked at a pair of feet that got him right spraying the kisser. And when these guys put a drop kick on you, it's not just an ordinary drop kick. The power, as they get so high in the air with it, the thing literally explodes right on the jaw. They can send you out with that. And that one was perfect. The timing was perfect from both Seabold and Angel on that one. This is Angel now as he's got the German to the mat with, a, with the arm bar and the pressure. Elbow drop again right down across that arm muscle. Helmet now, the big, strong, powerful German with his back on the mat. As Seabolt has the arm and continues to apply the pressure. The referee right down on his knees, checking those shoulders. We're going to get another tag and another switch, and they got to do that often. When you're smaller and you're relying on your quickness and your speed and your agility against a powerful team like that, you got to keep the fresh men in the ring. Fans, again, let me remind you that next week, right here on South Atlantic, Pro Wrestling. We're going to have a match for the Universal Heavyweight Championship. What a tremendous match that's going to be is the champion from San Juan, Puerto Rico, 
Carlos Colon is going to put the title up against the Russian bear, Ivan Koloff. Two experience, two tremendous wrestlers as they're going to meet head on, head on right here in the ring on South Atlantic Pro Wrestling. That's one of our many outstanding matches we'll have for you next week. So right now you want to be sure that you make your plans not to miss that one. This is Helmet now down on the mat. Face first. Seabolt. Got a little bit into the air, came down again with that knee right to the back of the arm muscle. And again, as we mentioned, one thing that the team of TNT really want to do, and they got to rely on it, and that is the fact that they have got to continue to tag and tag often and keep a fresh man in that ring at all times if possible. You can't let the big men wear you down completely physically. If they take away your speed from you and your quickness, you're really in bad trouble when you get in with a team as strong and powerful as they are. Good takedown by Angel. Had him covered. Only a count of one. Well, as strong as that man is, and that's Big Helmet. Arm drag, takedown again. Well, in the match so far, I think you would have to say that TNT, where their wrestling moves and the agility in the ring can literally out-wrestle the Germans, but whether or not they can defeat them, that's another question, because you got to take into account the tremendous power and physical strength of the opponents. They can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, they can muscle you, and they can power you down, and that's exactly what they're trying to do. The tag now from Angel to Seabolt. Here's Seabolt. Well, they had him double team for a moment, and that knee lift. Boy, he went way back to get that one, and what a tremendous amount of power he had on it. With the wrist now as he continues to wind onto the wrist of Helmet. Big Hans outside of the ring. And you get a good look at him and Kevin Casey right on the top part of your screen there for a moment. Another takedown now by Seabolt. As Seabolt's got the arm. And again, he's got the leverage on it, putting the pressure to it. And again, the big man's got to watch his shoulders. You can never relax them when you got your back to the mat, and that's exactly what he did. He got a count of two. Again, a count of two, and again, he has to get that shoulder up very quickly. On his feet now, again, turning in to Tommy Angel. A good move on the part as he got a knee up to the midsection. That big driving blow to the back of the neck and the back. The big Hans comes in now after that tag. Seabold in trouble, backed into the ropes, just takes those right hands, no way to defense himself. He couldn't defend himself, he had no defense for it. On his knees, a big, hard right hand to the midsection. Slows the big German up for the moment. That snap mare. Look at this. Height of the... Oh, he missed it. Oh, he missed it. He would have flattened his head as he got so high into the air. Came right down with that drop. And nobody was home. Angel saw it coming. Managed very quickly. In just the nick of time to roll right out from under it. But you see the big German very quickly back on the attack again. Watch him as he goes to work on Seabolt here. Beautiful move on the part of Seabolt. With well, that scissors takedown. Now here's Tommy Angel. They're both in. Helmet. Double drop kick. He's got nowhere to go. Trying to get to his corner very quickly. Ducks under the rope and out of the ring. I tell you, they could have annihilated him right there as they both had a good double team on him. And what tremendous moves you saw from the team of TNT. And again, it just reinforces what we've been saying about the tremendous athletic ability, the quickness, and the agility of these two. If they ever get you in a position where they can use it, they can take the bigger man, take him down, and tear him apart with it. That's what they're trying to do right now. And it's going to be Helmet now that's back in and through the ropes. As they circle now out near the center of the ring and they lock up again near the center. And that's where we're always in trouble as far as TNT is concerned. When you lock up with them, boy, you're in real trouble there. 
Siebel's going to be double teamed. Whipped to the ropes. Comes off with a double clothesline as they locked hands. They both, with their tremendous power, had him slammed to the ropes. Now to the shoulder, into the arm. Good reversal here by Siebel. Can he hold it? Powerful blow right to the back of the neck and another one. Well, for a moment, it looked like Siebel may try to avoid him some way. Uh, Big Hans was too close to him, and he just picked Siebel right up out of the air. Helmet in after the tag now with a choke right down across the throat. Another tremendous, powerful clothesline from the German helmet as he just slings Tommy Seabold into the ropes. And when he comes off that clothesline, right ready for him, right down across the throat. He may have him for the suplex and does. Powerful suplex that time from helmet. And Seabold has taken a tremendous amount of punishment. How much more can a young man take? The power wrestling of the German troopers really beginning to tell on Tommy Siebel. That time they got the double knee right up into the midsection again as they double teamed him and slammed him hard to the ropes. Up high onto the ropes, off comes the German, and he misses it. He's going to need a new back after that one. Oh, he got high into the air, way off of the top rope, high into the air, and he missed it completely. Here's Big Helmet in after the tag, Seabold into the ropes, draped across the rope now and being choked. The referee starting to count, finally breaks him, but the German is determined as he stays right on top. That should really turn it around some. As you saw Sebo with that knee lift and the German went reeling. But he made the tag, Sebo made a tag. Here comes Angel, we got two fresh men in the ring. Big Hans goes down from the forearm, blow from Tommy Angel, so does Helmet. Angel now, who is fresh, just lifts up the big man. He shows you he's got some power of his own. Again, he lifts up the German, slams him hard to the mat. Slammed them both, taking on both of them at the moment is Tommy Angel, but he's gonna be overpowered. He can only do it and last for so long as they now double team Angel and drive and power at him. Here comes Seabold into the ring. We've got all four of them in the ring now as they continue to go at each other. Angel by Hans in one corner, Helmet and Tommy Seabold in the other. Down goes the referee. Slam to the mat, hard goes Seabold. And the referee who took a hard knock. Wait a minute, here's the golf club from Kevin Casey. Helmet missed him, but he slammed his own man across the back. One, two, three, and they are counted out. Now he's got the golf club into the ring on Tommy Seabold as he comes across the back now of Tommy Angel with it. Seabold is down, Angel now being whipped into the rope, clotheslined with that golf club as he comes off of the ropes. Now he's got Seabold. Big helmet has Seabold as he drags him out near the center of the ring. There goes Angel through the ropes and out of the ring, and right now Seabold at the mercy of both of the Germans and Kevin Casey also into the ring as they're gonna hold Seabold for what? Off of the top rope. Here comes the German right down across the leg with that golf club of Tommy Seabold. And Seabold being stomped and kicked and mauled out into the ring using the golf club every way that they can possibly use it. Slams him again hard and another hard blow now down across the leg. Drives the end of the club again right into the leg into the muscle of Seabold. And Seabold Unable to get any assistance or help from his partner, and there's Casey with the elbow. And that elbow smash again, right down across the head. Here comes Tommy Angel through a chair into the ring. Out goes the Germans, out goes Kevin Casey as he try to cover and protect his partner. They are the winners, and there are the new championship belts, Tommy Seabold flat out on his back into the center of the ring being tended to by his partner and fans that'll do it for this week see you next week and until then so